Welcome back guys. In this video, we are going to start implementing Pusher.js so that our chat application becomes real time. Now the first video will be only the server side implementation and then the second one will be the front end implementation. Now to have Pusher in our application, we are going to use a composer package which is Winkla Pusher. Okay, this is the URL. I'm going to use this as my composer package. So this is very simple. Just copy this part and yeah. Oh, sorry, it's on the wrong directory. I should be inside the server and then All right, I will come back after the installation is done. Okay, that took a little long. I think there's some problem with my internet connection. Anyway, so we have the package now. Now we need to go through the installation guide a bit. We need to add this to our service providers list. So I'll quickly go into my config app. Okay, and oh, all right, I already have this. And if you see, this is the facade, but I'll just change it a bit. I will name it Laravel Pusher. And inside my code, I am going to use Laravel Pusher instead of Pusher. Okay. <coughs> All right, some problem with the permission. So I'm on a different setup this time. Um, my Mac laptop is not working right now so I had to switch back to a Windows machine where I have a Linux VM so a few things will behave a little erratic alright so we have the service provider and the facade ready okay and now the next thing which we need to do is we need to get the configuration file so uh, we need to do a publish okay what was the command i yeah sorry so this is it i'll just copy this and in my terminal fine now again um i'm using i'm you know, kind of getting the config file from lan so i won't get it immediately so i'll have to open it up from here pusher will not be visible here okay now i have you know the variables in my env file so i'll just if you do i have them in my example let me see so i'll go into my example yes these are the three things so no that's what we will use here auth key so in V and then this in my secret I will use this and we have the app ID now again a problem Fine. So we have the pusher config file configured properly as well. So nothing more in here. As you can see, there is the main and the alternative. We are not going to use alternative. Main is the default. So I can close this out and this. And now we come back to a controller, you know, where the main logic is. So I'll first have to do a use. Okay, this pusher sides and I'll use it as level pusher. Okay, uh, just quickly, um, what is the application running on? 
is it running first of all i don't think so our php artisan serve my host will be 192.168.0.105 okay port 8000 all right so the application is running which means so far there is no problem with the configuration or the use files and i think yeah if i make a mistake okay that doesn't work right now so we'll have to see later on uh, okay uh, so far so good the only thing which we will do is you know after we do the chat save here and then we get the final data we're going to trigger an event so you know that's all the server is going to do so trigger okay the first thing is the channel okay on the pusher front that's the channel if you see the documentation it's very straightforward you know my channel my event and then the an array of data so i have a chat channel okay my event will be chat underscore saved and then i'll have message which is final data nothing else so time to check whether our apl application is working or not so I'll come here this is my view application no, not the gui sorry bash npm run dev I hope it's working properly. Um, I have to check the config file. Yes, it's on 105, so I delete should work. Let me log out. Save icon not found. That's okay. Yeah, so I'm able to log in, and yeah, no, this is working as well. So now the only thing which we need to test is when we are clicking here check my check chat message and we are able to save which means that ideally the trigger is working otherwise we would have received an error messages today so recently i have created a message let me check Again, one more. Okay, so two. Uh, do we see any activity? Yes, we do, which means you know our code is working. The messages are being relayed. So yeah, this is the server side implementation of you know pusher, where uh, basically what we have done is if you see in our composer JSON, we added this package in our app.php, we configured it to use this facade and this service provider and we had this configuration file as well which i think i won't be okay it's not visible yeah so yeah we did this and yeah then this trigger okay so the next video is where we are going to go through the vue.js code on implementing the front end of pusher.js thanks for watching guys if you like the video do click on the thumbs up icon and don't forget to share the videos on social websites